Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day so far. For today's video, I'm doing a very fun video that a lot of you guys have requested in the past. So a lot of you have suggested like a week of thrifted outfits or secondhand outfits, sustainable outfits, ethical outfits, like something in that sphere. So today, I am doing a week of sustainable outfits. Honestly, this style of video is just a fun way to vlog and share a little bit more about me and my life and what I get up to and what I wear each day. So it's part vlog meets outfits of the week meets wearing sustainable outfits for a week. So this is just a very fun video. I'm super excited about it. Today is the first day and I'll show you guys what I'm wearing in just a second. It's a very cute outfit, but before I actually hop into the vlog portion, I want to thank today's sponsor. It is Everlane. Everlane is a sustainable clothing brand that I have talked about here on my channel before. Basically, Everlane is an amazing clothing company with sustainable clothing that uses ethical factories. They have high quality pieces using the best materials and fabrics to make pieces that will last a long time so you're not just buying pieces over and over again and the money you're spending is truly an investment now they recently launched a new sneaker collection called the tread collection here are some of my favorite shoes from that collection i have a couple more from them which i'm excited to show you guys throughout the video i'm going to be styling them and wearing them with my outfits but these sneakers are super amazing because when everlane created them they wanted them to be the world's lowest impact sneakers sneakers that were made out of an amazing material that would last a long time and really be an investment piece, something that you could have for years and years. So if you guys are interested in checking out the Tread Collection or any of the clothing pieces I share in today's video, those will all be linked below. Make sure to check those out. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And now let me just show you what I'm wearing today. Alrighty, so for today's outfit, I am wearing a brown knit cardigan worn as a top, tucked into some white high-waisted pants. And I've actually uh, inwardly cuffed these to have a bit of a shorter hem. And then for my shoes, I am going to be wearing these nude sneakers. My little hair scarf right here. This I thrifted a couple months ago for, whoa there. We are completely out of focus. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> So for today's agenda, I need to run some errands. I have to go to the post office. I have to go to the store and I have to go to the bank. And then I'm gonna come home and finish decorating my office. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you guys might know that I've been redoing my office and oh, it looks so good. I'm so happy with it. And I am almost done. I have a few last pieces to just add in. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this on my channel, but this is our doormat. It says, how you doing? Do you guys get the reference? Comment down below. So the first official stop now is the bank which i just i don't love going to the bank you know how there's just certain errands you're just like i don't like that one fingers crossed it is quick made it out in less than 15 minutes relatively painless pretty quick and i really like my banker she's really nice she's like our our newer banker i don't know we've just started becoming pals so I like her, she's, she's a nice lady. So I drove by the post office and it looked like Best Buy on Black Friday. It was so incredibly busy and people were being crazy with like the parking and everybody was like fighting each other for parking spots and there was a line going out of the uh, the driveway into the parking lot. It was just, I was like, uh-uh. So I ended up just driving to the store I was going to, which is World Market. It's one of my favorite stores. They have a bunch of home goods and home decor. And now let's head inside to World Market. this little gold uh, photo grid. So basically you can like put your photos on it. But I saw this the other day, I thought about it. I was like, not sure, but I thought about it for like a whole week. So I've come back to get it. Just got home. Before we get to decorating, I want to do a little haul showing you guys what I picked up. So first off, I picked up some more cookie cutters. If you guys don't know, my husband and I love to bake. We bake a lot, a lot, a lot. And we have a collection of cookie cutters of different shapes. Picked up this cutie pie candy cane one, beautiful angel, a super cute little house, a turkey, and this little gnome guy. 
fun thing, I'm actually hosting Thanksgiving this year, which this is my first year hosting it. I feel like Monica from Friends, you know, the first year she's hosting it. I'm really excited. I feel like I can do it. So one of the things I got for Thanksgiving dinner are some dinner napkins. I got them in this beautiful burgundy shade. And I wanted to get actual dinner napkins because they look really classy and nice. I love the look of a set table. I think it's beautiful. And of course, because they're reusable, they're better for the environment. I also got a new oven mitt for this time of year. It's a little gingerbread man hand. Very cute. I got some new silverware because for all the family that's coming over, I wouldn't have had enough. So I just picked up enough silverware to have enough silverware. <laughs> I also picked up the gold grid for the photos that I wanted to put up. The whole reason I went to World Market. The last thing that I picked up was a new cookie sheet. All right, let's get to decorating. grid is up. So these are the photos that I have so far until I print more. Also, I just have to show you guys this amazing canvas print that I found at Home Goods a couple weeks ago. How cute is this? Amazing. Love this. That concludes day one. Today's outfit, so stinking cute. So good night, guys. I will see you tomorrow for day two. Hello, guys. Welcome to day two. Today, I'm starting this vlog at night because... I really didn't do anything all day except for edit in my pajamas. My husband and I also planned a fun date night tonight. One of our favorite places in the whole wide world, Disneyland. Date nights at Disneyland are my favorite. My husband and I just have like the best time. We're annual pass holders and we just love going. But before we go, I have to um, cut my husband's hair, not because we're going to Disneyland, but because we keep meaning to cut his hair and it's been needing to happen for the last couple weeks. I have cut his hair for like the last year or year and a half he always hates when he goes to a, a barber shop and gets it done because they just never cut it right so i have learned to cut his hair and i probably don't have the right techniques but it always comes out looking good so <laughs> you guys are in for a treat quick little ootd before i call my husband for his hair appointment <laughs> so i have got on this black and white knit sweater from everlane it is so warm and so cozy Perfect for a night out at Disneyland where it's kind of crispy and chilly. Then for bottoms, I've got on a pair of denim high-waisted mom jeans. They look like this. These are actually a hand-me-down, a pass-down from my mom to me. These are her jeans from the 90s. Honestly, they're probably older than me. Hi, hi, hi. Hey. Are you excited for Disneyland date night? Yes. Yeah? Are you excited for churros? Yes. I'm excited for churros. Yes. Yeah. Or are you more excited for a haircut? Maybe. Yeah? Yeah, so I don't show really stooge anymore. Show everybody, oh my gosh, his hair is so, so long. My Ace Ventura hair? His hair grows faster than anybody's, like, that I know. It is crazy, and it's so long right now. No, don't make that shape. You look like Count Olaf. Oh my gosh, I can't. Okay, let's cut this. <gasps> Hi, guys. Welcome to my bathroom. guys I kind of messed up and I've never messed up of course the one time I'm recording I mess up out of like the 10 times I've cut your hair it was literally the last section of hair and then the camera died right after it's bad it's like actually bad there's like where is it there's a hole I can't even find it now see it's barely there it's in the certain light when the white hits your scalp I've never messed up can you attest to that I can attest to that this is so stupid. I'm so sorry. You know who I blame? I blame the vlog. I've never messed up. I'll buy you whatever treats you want at Disneyland. I will be the financier of tonight's events. I'm gonna try and blend it. We've finished the haircut. I think I recovered quite well. We're done. What do you think of it? Is it okay? I haven't really seen it yet. Look at it now. Yes. Yeah? It's so much better. I've brought our Dyson, which has been the best purchase we've ever made. Ever. Vacuum my face. Yeah, I'm gonna vacuum and hook. Huh? 
my husband is genuinely a trooper i was so scared that i would not be able to recover from that like <sighs> that bald spot i'm just gonna say it bald spot i fixed it he looks great he looks super handsome it turned out well it worked out okay i decided to opt for the black sneakers instead of the icy blue ones i just felt like they flowed a little bit better with this outfit so i'll wear these tomorrow i have an outfit that's really cute with these but i have opted for these baby this year is just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill isn't this how it's supposed to be making our christmas memories oh and i've been longing to hold you close forget about everyone else isn't this how it's my final treat for the night, Snowman Cake Pop. He's cute. I'm excited. I will see you tomorrow for day three. That's crazy. Okay, let's go before I get copyrighted. Hello guys, happy day three. I'm in a parking structure. What's up? Today I'm starting off my day by getting a manicure, which I'm so excited about because I haven't got my nails done for like a month and they're all grown out and chipped and they like, let me see if I can show you. So growing out this one is like really chipped and fun fact these are my actual nails getting my nails done is like my moment to have like a little self-care time to relax and I'm actually getting a pedicure today I haven't gotten a pedicure in months you know how nail polish lasts for like a couple weeks and then toenail polish lasts for like 10 months 30 years I usually when I go get my nails done I go on Pinterest and get some like ideas of colors and stuff so that way I have some sort of image but I have no plan just got home from my nail appointment it was so so nice the nail technicians I had today were so great I think I'm definitely gonna be requesting them again they look like this I got them in like a pinky mauve they look a little bit darker on camera than they do in real life they're a little bit uh lighter pink than this so today is off to a great start it is going to be a good day i just realized i have not shown you guys today's outfit so before i get to editing i'm going to show you guys what i'm wearing today so for my top i've got on this beautiful knit sweater it's in this gorgeous a uh, gray blue kind of teal shade. I don't really know how to describe this, but it is beautiful. It's soft, it's cozy, and it's warm. So with that, I have it tucked in to the white jeans from day one. And then for shoes, today I am wearing those icy blue uh, sneakers from Everlane's Tread Collection. And these are so gorgeous. Recently, I feel like just because I've been in like a more cozy type of vibe, I've been editing on my couch. I have like a little side table here and I just like to edit here with my, my little snowman blanket. So my laptop is dead. Well, I have two laptops. I have one that I mostly edit my videos on now. And then I have my um, MacBook, which I do most like emails and like answering comments and stuff like that so the other one's more for like heavy duty stuff and then this is just for day-to-day -day tasks but my video editing computer is dead so i'm just gonna let it charge there for a while and i'll just i guess answer some of my emails i have not been on top of my emails lately So we drove around, we found a nice little, I don't know, just very basic kind of location. It's just a silver garage door, I guess. Whenever I'm shooting photos for a thumbnail, I always try to look for a very like simple and plain background. So the location didn't work. It's much too dark in that spot. So we have to find somewhere with better lighting. And I don't know what we're gonna do because the sun is getting ready to set soon. So we were looking for a new location and then it started raining. And it should be noted that this is supposed to be the biggest rain that LA has had in the last six or seven months. Great. Awesome. So we love that. No content being shot today. So I guess I'm going to end day three because there's not really much else I can do. I was planning on like having a whole content adventure, but now it's raining. So that's that. And we're just heading back home and I'm going to just edit. So that's all. Okay. See you guys tomorrow. Hi guys. I'm currently trapped. I have a kitty cat on my lap. And she's been here for a while. She doesn't want to move. She's just content being here. And it's very sweet. But I got things to do. I gotta get up from my couch. I was just clearing. 
I was just clearing out my inbox and then she came and jumped up and now she's here. She left. I think me vlogging encouraged her to leave. Anyways, hello guys, what's up? Today is a very chill day. It's a home day, which essentially is a cleaning day. Woohoo! Today is that day of the week where it's dishes, laundry, putting away things that kind of just scatter around the house throughout the week, uh, making the bed, uh, just all of the exciting house chores. Once a week, I just try to clean the house, try to tidy things, make sure things don't get too wild because you know how there's that point when your house just starts getting messy that it is just like a point of no return. I'm trying to be really preventative with my weekly cleaning to ensure that that doesn't happen because that point of no return is the worst. Before I get too in the thick of cleaning and tidying up, I should show you today's outfit. So today's outfit starts off with this very cute um, kind of off-white cream colored bodysuit. This is like the cutest bodysuit ever. It fits well. It is the most simple, beautiful, comfortable basic. And then for bottoms, I've got on these like black and white polka dot uh, culotte type of flowy pants. And I actually thrifted these I don't know, sometime over the summer for a couple dollars at Crossroads Trading. So I've gone on a very comfortable outfit. And then because today has been a bit of a chillier day, I have been throwing on this gray uh, jacket that I thrifted probably like three years ago or four years ago. This is my favorite jacket ever. Also, I don't think I'm gonna film anything today because do you see this lighting? It's already pretty dark. It's just so gloomy outside. It's only noon and it's this dark. All right, friends, let's get to cleaning. I will see you guys tomorrow for our last day, day five. What's up everybody, happy last day. Here is today's outfit. So I've got on this brown knit sweater. It features a mock knit. It like just fits so nice and like this is the sweater of like your winter dreams. It's like the perfect amount of warm. Without being too warm, you can definitely layer underneath. Then with this, I have done a nice little French tuck into a pair of these black, I think these are like the cheeky jean, and these are so stinking cute. I got them in a washed black. So I have touched up my hair, I am out and about. I've actually also switched to a new camera. I wanna know if you guys can tell a difference in the quality of not only video, but also audio. So if you notice, let me know down below. And now I'm about to go thrifting. I am actually driving to my, where I grew up in my hometown, uh, Rancho Cucamonga, and I'm gonna be thrifting around in that area. I think today is gonna be a really good day. It's already been really good so far. I feel like I'm ahead of the curve and it's awesome. And yeah, so now time to drive an hour and a half, hour, and we'll see how traffic is. But I will see you at the thrift store.
Finally, after an hour and 45 minute drive, usually it takes about an hour if the traffic is just like regular, very normal. Finally got to the thrift store I'm going to. I forgot what it's called. I've been here just once before. Oh, it's called Second Chance Thrift Shop. Let's head inside. Unfortunately, I didn't really find much except for a couple baskets, which were really cute and I'm really excited about, but other than that, nothing that was like super my style or my taste. I think I'm gonna wrap up filming this video. So I will see you guys back at home. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys what shoes I'm wearing. I'm just wearing the, um, <laughs> I'm just wearing the uh, nude Everlane sneakers and these are really perfect for thrifting and just being out all day because they're very, very comfortable. But other than that, I will see you guys at home. Hi guys, so I know I said I would wrap up this video at home, but I'm actually in the Philippines now, so hey from the Philippines. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that is it for today's video. I had such a fun time vlogging and just sharing what I get up to every day with you guys and showing you guys my outfits and also just working with Everlane. I really like Everlane a lot. I think they're an amazing company. And if you're trying to get more into ethical and sustainable fashion, definitely check out Everlane. They have amazing stuff, especially their tread collection, which I really admire their mission for it. I think it's amazing. Just as a recap, their tread collection is their new sneaker collection, which when they were creating it, they wanted it to be the lowest impact sneaker around. The sneakers are made with lower carbon emissions. The laces and the linings are made out of recycled plastic bottles, which is just super neat. So if you want to check out Everlane, their tread collection, and all the pieces I shared in today's video, make sure to check it out down below. I'll have links for everything. And yeah, that about wraps it up for today. The last thing is our quote of the day segment. And today's quote is, anything worth having is worth waiting for. So think about that as we go into the week. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I love you guys lots and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.